Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane E, and I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what this is, and that's what I do, and that's why you're here. Maybe, maybe not, maybe you just kind of stumbled upon this thing. Who knows? Anyway, if this is your first time joining us, yes... I react to comedy music from someone who does comedy music themselves. That means that I pause the videos so that I'm not talking over the jokes when I react, and also sometimes my reactions range from analysis and deconstructing jokes and talking about how they work with the video, and sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. Uh, this week, we are diving into the brand new Tenacious D music video for video games. Two things that I love a lot in this world are comedy music and video games. That's why my logo on this really cool hat, which you can get at my merch shop, hey, shameless plug, uh, is, uh, is a Castlevania logo. Because I love video games and I love comedy music, and a lot of the songs that I do are based around video games. So, to have Tenacious D do this, uh, of course, with Jack Black, who's voicing Bowser in uh, the new Super Mario Brothers movie, uh, this is exciting. Um, also, kind of cool, uh, I think this video is by uh, Oni. Uh, Oni Plays and OniNG on Twitter, uh, aka Chris O'Neill, uh, who has often said that uh, they've always wanted to do a... Uh, Tenacious D music video. They actually said it in an episode of Oni Plays. I really wanted to make a music video to a Tenacious D song. I know this because they actually mentioned me in the same episode. Chris, I want to get you in a boxing ring with, uh, <laughs> with like, uh... Um, you want to have some kind of a creator clash? Not you and me. You and... Oh, you want to box? Influence box? I want, I want Chris to box. Corey, we need, Corey, you and I need to give someone to box. Who should Chris have to box? Chris has to box... Fred. Uh, insane a e Andy. Insane Ian. Insane, insane Andy. Andy. You, have to, you have to beat... You have to box him while, you have to box while Pamper he's Chew, doing Chris. comedy... Corey, I love how you watched like a marathon of Insane Ian and you can't even remember his name and I can. Insane Ian? I, dude, I subscribed Who is immediately insane after. Ian? He did a... Uh, I love his fucking... What if Brendel Floss's game had lyrics? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, uh, we're diving in to the music video. Apparently, uh, Chris uh, Oni had had a was either directed this video or worked with the team that did this. Regardless, they know video games. Going to be a lot of video game references. Uh, I'm excited. Let's see what this is all about. Are you plugged in? Yeah. All right. Ready. One, two, or one, two, three. Okay. I, I dig the animation style already. It's very bouncy. It's very fun. The zoom in on Jables' lips here, very ultra hyper realistic all of a sudden, and uh, almost disturbing. Also, uh, I think Oni is involved with uh, the creation and, and uh, smiling friends, if you're looking for animation clues as to what they do. Uh, yeah. This is already uh, disturbing, which you know, Tenacious D. It's gonna. They, Tenacious D. I'm a huge fan of, but some of their stuff is fluctuating. Uh, the the uh, Apocalyptica or whatever it was called, the the thing they did during the pandemic, was unique to say the least. I, I'm glad they're they're going to more more traditional songs rather than this rock opera thing that they they did then. It was uh, definitely a very ambitious thing for them to do. Uh, speaking as someone who has been trying to write a rock opera for the past couple of years, uh, it's very ambitious. And uh, kudos to them for getting it done, especially uh, budgetarily in the way that they did with Jables just animating everything himself. That was uh, definitely an interesting step. But getting uh, an animation team of people who actually... Uh, have been drawing and animating for years rather than doing it all yourself on a shoestring uh, is a cool way to go too. Uh, we all know how budgets go, especially with comedy music. But uh, anyway. Are you plugged in? Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, or one, two, three. I don't play video games no more. I never play video games. Except for a little bit of God of War. I never play video games. <laughs> 
Uh, wait a second. Jablinski Games was Jables' gaming channel. He played video games. Except for a little bit of God of War. Yeah, he clearly played God of War. Uh, he played a couple things on there. He played Red Dead, I think, and he played... This is probably what the song is about. I'm gonna watch. Maybe once in a while, a little bit of Fallout 4. <laughs> That's okay, not right now. I got things to do, cause I don't... Uh, I got things to do, cuz, and just rips KG in half. All right, cool. All right, this, the, I'm down for this. Also, obviously, Sonic Ray. This is, I was mentioned uh, in an Oni Plays episode of, of Sonic Heroes. That's, if you missed the intro, I played that clip. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's okay, not right now. I got things to do, cuz, I don't play video games no more. <laughs> That's not a game. It's an incredible journey through old American history. Treacherous canyons, cool rocks, crap! Oh my god. Okay, now, now if this is turning into the argument of, of you know, video games are more than just games, they're, they're great stories, the likes of which we haven't seen since film, and like, there's that whole video games, are video games art, the conversation that that, you know, uh, Siskel kind of got into the, or not Siskel, Ebert. Ebert got into the, the conversation about, got into arguments that video games aren't art, but never lived to see the way that games are now, that they are slowly becoming art, and a lot of the argument between, uh, you know, certain indie games having a, a lot of, not, you know, they're not focusing on graphics, but more focusing on stories and, and experiences and things like that. And yes, people make those arguments, but also, video games are games. It's in the name. And if you play video games, even if you play Candy Crush on your phone, even if you play, you know, Animal Crossing or Pokemon, or you're a gamer. If you play a game, and you play a game a lot, you're a gamer. That's it. There's no gatekeeping in this shit. There shouldn't be. Gaming is fun. There's a stigma to the name gamer, and I think also that might be something about this. I don't play video games, except these games, which are not games, which I high to a higher standard. I hold it to a higher standard. You know what I'm trying to say. Ranting. It's fun. It's not a game. It's an incredible journey through old American history. Fighting for your life and fighting for your family. Sure, shoot the nun. Uh, don't take that out of context. That's a thing you shouldn't do. Uh, Jables being... Jables and KG being naked uh, in the video is very on brand for them. They do a lot of songs where they're just shirtless in the tidy whities or whatever, or sometimes banana hammocks, uh, and just... It's, it's very in keeping with their theme and styles. It's with the album cover for the first album. They're recreating a, a I think, a tarot card or something like that. Um, and and on the back it's them with the guitars, but still Nakado. Uh, uh, Nakado is that? That's not how you say naked. I don't know why I did that. That's fun. Um, this is great. Okay. Again, there's this weird like disconnect between like like the goofy cartoonishness of this shot here of of KG with a banjo and a, a pig with both eyes on the same side of the head a pile of poop that it's eating but also blasting a man in the face with a revolver to the point where like the top half of the head comes off and it's just tongue and eyeballs laying there in the jaw that's left graphic um but also that is comedy that's a great utilization of that I I, 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 I sometimes hate having to explain jokes, but sometimes I, I feel like it's a kind of necessary thing for this show because, you know, uh, having the dichotomy between, like, you know, cartoonishness and then realistic things, having showing the similarities and, and, and having those two opposing things meet 
in a visual form like this is inherently funny on its own to me. And again, comedy is the most subjective thing in the fucking world, man. It's, it's... What is funny to one person is never funny to another person. Uh, not everybody finds the same things humorous, but to me, and obviously to the makers of this video, and obviously to Tenacious D who put their approval on this kind of thing, they find that funny too. There are things that are, you know, lean more toward uh, the majority of people thinking that's funny, and that's definitely one of them. Also, just, it's a it's a groovy visual to have because it's just so striking. And again, talking about things like where like the visuals match the the song, you know, it's not trying to detract too much from the jokes that you're hearing in the song. Um, the thing like that is coming in in a in a low point in the song where it's not a the lyrics itself aren't a joke, but the whole idea of what they're singing is funny. So it, like it's adding to that theme. Rambling. Yes, I know. That's the thing. If, if this is your first time joining us, I pause a lot. Like I said, I don't want to talk over the jokes in the song. So I'm, I ramble. It's a thing. There's a song called Shut Up Ian. Everybody gets it once. All right. Try to live your days with honor and integrity, they say as they ride around naked, shooting things. Like, you can tell, like, he almost considers not shooting the nun. And then he shoots uh, Cage in the, in the banjo, which goes through and just knocks off his junk, and that's the pig surprised. These are weird sentences. All of them. All of them weird sentences. Okay. Your family, try to live your day. Third time on that. That's not a game, that's an adult thing. Oh, these themes. Uh, live, trying to live your life with honor and integrity and going through the, the, the history of the Old West. and that's, that's an adult thing, not a game. Convince yourself however you have to convince yourself. That's not a game at all. That's like fucking Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one, we have a song with Jables scatting in it, so already perfect. But uh, Jables, as all these video game stars, is... Uh, it's amazing. Like, honestly, Jables' beard right now looks like Kratos' in God of War. This is amazing. What do we got? That's like fucking Shakespeare. He's not wrong. All right, we got Jables' Link. As Ryu from Street Fighter. As Steve from Minecraft, and there's the uh, the crazy pants and the flame shirt that he's been wearing in some videos. As Laura Croft, it, I, it went too far back. Yeah, Jables as Laura Croft with the twin pistols and and the triangle boob from PS One. Uh, attention to detail there is on point, y'all. Chef's kiss. Bravo. Uh, as the scout or the heavy, uh, that's uh, one of them from Team Fortress 2. And Mega Man. And Mario, of course. Okay. All right, I've, I've paused enough in that section to see all of those things. They go by quickly. I just wanted to, to count them all off. They're great. Also, wait a minute. I'm missing all of the, the glorious attention in this frame on Shakespeare. In the top corner, you got uh, the the mask, Ugga Bugga, or whatever, Oonga Boonga, whatever the mask is from, from Crash Bandicoot. Got a Mario Invincibility Star. You got the Triforce of Power at the very top. You got Star, For Star Fox's logo. You've got the mushroom from Mario. You've got the Half-Life symbol uh, continuing below the mask. Uh, the Fallout Kid, um, I can't remember what his name, not, not like, Vault Boy, Vault Boy, that's his name. Uh, you've got a puzzle piece, which I don't actually recognize. Uh, and then along the other side is the Omega symbol, I think from God of War. Uh, you've got an Among Us, you've got, uh, an alien from Space Invaders. Along the bottom, you have a leaf from uh, Animal Crossing. You've got one of the ghosts 
from Pac-Man. All the ghosts from Pac-Man look the same, unless they're in color, so I can't tell which one that is. Uh, you've, of course, got Sonic the Hedgehog's head. You've got a banana peel, which... It's got a face on it, so I don't know if that's from Donkey Kong or Mario Kart um, or something else. I don't recognize what the face on it is from. And, of course, a Pokeball. Uh, that's like fucking Shakespeare. Shakespeare, freaking... The mushroom, the mushroom was a penis tip. The mushroom was a penis tip. Oh! That's it. That's the one. It's on the album. Oh man, poor poor Rage Cage is just the top of a head, and what was that? I don't want to know what appendage that was that jumped in the guitar. I'm hoping it was a thumb, and not a mushroom tip. Uh, if Tenacious D is working on a new album, I'm excited. Uh, but that song, that song is great. That song is is fantastic. Bravo for the D. Uh, it's that's very similar to. Uh, to what would be my theme song. It's great. I love that. Also, next to the guitar is the Pick of Destiny. You think I didn't see it? It's right there. That green pick. That is the Pick of Destiny. That's the one. It's on the album. <laughs> Storyboarded by Chris O'Neill. Oni, there he is. Uh... Excellent work. Uh, also to Adam Polonian, who just storyboarded, was the executive producer and directed. Co-directed by Olaf Berman. CG supervisor Jack Gatto. You can read the credits. But uh, character design, Chris O'Neill, Adam Polonian, and Noel Williamson. Uh, bravo work to everybody there, especially the animation team and the 3D animators. The Shakespeare painting was by uh, Julia Blattman, which was a great Shakespeare painting, too, with the quill in his eye. I loved that. Uh, the different sequences, this is uh, an, an amazing amount of work. Uh, man, Oni did quite a lot on this. This is great. Um, yeah, bravo to Pinreel and everybody involved in the making of this video. Fantastic work. Uh, that was spectacular. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. If you want to see the video without me yammering all over it, you can get the link in the description below. Also, the link to the episode of Oni Plays where they mention wanting to work uh, on a Tenacious D video. Uh, I, I say they because Oni mentions it as well as uh, Corey, I think, or, or either Corey or Zach mentions they've done a video and it was n not online anymore. Uh, and then the group of them, Corey, Zach, and Chris, all mention me, too, out of the blue. Thanks for the sub, Corey. I appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, I uh, hope you all have dug that. If you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get to hear my music early, get their name in the credits like these lovely people over here, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye. On a country tune. I dig it. It's time to use your words. The game for comedy nerds. And their unfunny friends. The party never ends. Got some friends? All in your home?